white. So we're, uh... We're gonna have a conversation. Alright. And if anyone was watching the Game Awards, uh, we all got, um... We all were waiting anxiously as fighting game fans to figure out whether or not we would be, uh... The winners or the losers as far as Mortal Kombat fans of fighting game of the year and not only did Street Fighter 6 win as it should and I voted for it um, I'm going to explain why it won everything about Street Fighter 6 from the initial starting logo to everything inside the game, the presentation is top tier. Alright? That's what gets you in. First and foremost, bang, just straight in. Alright? And then, because of the presentation and the layout that we can navigate things, it's very easy to find stuff. And not only that, it feels like a Street Fighter game. The music gets you in the mood. There's all these different things available to you. So you've got the World Tour mode which is the single player portion of the game. You've got the uh, online portion, which I'll show you in a sec. And of course, the fighting ground stuff. So anything that you want to do, either offline or say online, uh, you can actually do through this menu as well. This mode right here was pretty much Street Fighter V. Just here, the fighting ground. That was Street Fighter V when we got it. Okay. You got your normal arcade story stuff, which is great. You got your practice modes with all of these things available. You got your standard versus one on one, if that's what you want to do. All right. You got a special, which is extreme match, and then you've got online with ranked, casual, and then of course you can have a custom room as well. All right. And then, uh, obviously, because we actually had, um, uh, what do you call it? The uh, like it was. It was a very small roster on launch. I think it was 16 characters on launch, all right? But you got your stage select here, all wonderfully laid out, which is really nice. Okay, so you can choose the stage. And then, you know, just the presentation zooming in for the character select screen. Obviously, we're not including the additional characters that they have added to the game thus far, right? But still, what do we have here? We've got uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, what's that, 16? Uh, duh, 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 duh. So, oh, 18 characters, my bad, right? So we got, yeah, 18 characters, right, on launch. And then we got the two additional ones with uh, Rashid and Naki. It looks amazing. Everything about this game, presentation-wise, if, if you're a fan of fighting games and you're a Street Fighter fan, right, this looks, this looks absolutely amazing, okay? And not only that, when you choose your character, you don't have to go to some other menu to set up stuff before you get here. Just like any other standard fighting game. We can come in and choose whatever additional costumes that we have available for us. The colors, the control type, you know, button preset. You can then access the controller settings on the fly. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, right? Just superb. And this is just like... This is standard, whether you're playing online or offline when you're doing the fighting part of it, right? The introduction here, okay? Based on whatever stage that you're at, makes it feel like, yes, this is this is where you're going. You're, you're about to enter this particular stage. You've got tiny little act interactions here that you can do. Everything about this game is top tier polished. Whether you're a fan of Street Fighter or not, you cannot argue that this thing after the debacle that was, uh, I'm not playing, you guys watch, right? Just to see like the layout of the menus and everything. From top to bottom, this was a wonderful layout for it. And not only that, that when you play the game, right? It tells you about the systems that they have introduced to the game, but you can still pick it up and understand the game at all. Like completely, right? And that's just the offline and online stuff if you want to jump into some uh, online action here. However, you can also, through the Battle Hub, okay, this is, uh, this is this handsome fella, you can change the server that you're on, 
Okay, you can see your contacts, tournaments, quick join. And people wonder why people are going to Street Fighter 6. People are wondering why, you know, this game has the biggest, as far as Steam goes, one of the biggest online fighting game, uh, not only communities, but also active communities as well. Look at this, right? Have your own character, just like in Tekken 8, you can run around, right? You can go sit down at an arcade machine and challenge people. You can come up to people, you know, see what the profile is all about. All this sort of stuff. You can send messages, private info. It's great. You can sit down, like I said, you can choose which side if both sides are available. Okay. And then, if you press uh, X, at least on this controller, you can set whether you want to have ranked matches, casual matches, right? Confirm opponent on or off, no matter the ping. Connection type, what you want to have, cross play settings. Select your the character that you want before you go into the online match, so it's already selected. Right, you can set what favorite stage you want, so obviously then there's like a you know, roll of the dice about who gets it. You got your fighter profile. There is so much here for the Street Fighter fan. You can even take this little bugger down here and fight other people, like your avatar against other people. Why did Street Fighter 6 win? Presentation. And while the character, like while the character roster was slightly small, you know, coming off the massive backs of uh, Street Fighter V and then Street Fighter IV, it's very, very telling. The reason why this game won. You've even got your own, like the shop here. Okay, so you can come in and you can see all the different types of gear that you can buy for your avatar. That's uh, wow. Okay, all right. No, we don't need to see that. Leave the body shop. That's the body shop. Maybe it's the other shop. Can you do another one? Let's go check out the other one. Right. Got some old machines. Right. Oh, maybe it's these ones over here. Is it these? Yeah, these ones over here, the old machines, right? Check it out. Final Fire, Street Fighter, Mega Man. Uh, this is normally where they have like a special specialty shop. <clears throat> like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one. Alright. Would it be this one? Maybe it was that one, I just didn't pay attention. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're just you're telling me stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so we've got tournament stuff happening, right? So maybe it was the other one, I wasn't paying attention. Regardless, regardless, right? This is the reason why. This is the reason why this game was voted for fighting game of the year. Now, awards don't mean anything. But if you look, take this game side by side in comparison. Oh no, this is just, um, yeah, no, this is just simply just um, changing your character, just the character, right? Where is the customer? Hang on, is it? Shows how much I come in a battle hub in terms of like investigation and everything. Oh, it's over here. My bad. Yeah, it's this one. My bad. I'm so stupid. Just right past it. Doesn't matter. So. <laughs> What a masculine outfit. Look at these masculine outfits. What the hell's the matter with these people? Bro. 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 Certain, certain bunch of people from Twitter would probably shop in this, it, it would like this section available to us at the moment. You've also got the stuff that you unlock uh, in the World Tour mode as well. That you can also like outfit your character, which is cool. Like everything about this game, from top to toe, is all wonderful presentation. Thinking about what the consumer, the customer might like, as not only a Street Fighter fan, but also someone that loves to play or, or, or might like playing fighting games and want to get into a brand new sort of game. Uh, within the FTC, or like well, sorry, with the fighting games in general, or may not have played a Street Fighter game before and wondering, you know what, I don't really know how to do these moves. I've mucked around before and I just can't get it. Don't worry, there's modern controls that can ease you in to get used to things. They have thought of everything with this release, and that is the reason why it got voted. Because whether or not you have some particular issues, maybe some balancing issues, whatever stuff like that, if you compare this directly with Mortal Kombat 1, this absolutely destroys it. 
in almost every metric available. If you take away the gimmick of blood and fatalities in MK1, what's left? Apart from obviously lighting likes, liking like certain characters, and of course the stage is really good, what's left? They created a gigantic single player, those, those pants are a little, little, uh, little fruity, right? They created entire single player mode for you to go in and enjoy, and not only enjoy, interact with favorite characters in the Street Fighter universe, come to know them, right? Absolutely incredible stuff, right? And that's the reason why it won. And that's the reason why people keep going to it. And then when Tekken 8 comes out, it's going to be a battle of the big dogs. You think this DLC drip that NetherRealm and Warner Brothers are doing is going to save people from going there? No. Because once that tiny little dopamine rush wears off, people will be like, you know what? There's nothing else left to do. I'll muck around with the new character for a bit. What's left? Oh, invasions mode. Just boring. Okay? Now, no game is perfect, right? They're in a lot of hot water right now with the uh, the prices for the Outfit 3s for this game. And I do hope that Capcom listen, have listened to feedback, like from guys like Maximilian, and going, you know, you need, to, you need to change that. You will sell more for less, okay? It doesn't look good selling it at that price, okay? This is the amount of effort and care that they've gone into this, and Tekken 8 is no different, right? And that's the reason why it won. Doesn't matter whether you're a fan of Street Fighter 6 or not. It's quality. It's dedication and care that the developers have gone, we want to bring new people in, we want to retain the fans, and also give them additional stuff that really expand in a very uh, organic and fun way for Street Fighter fans of different character storylines and whatnot. And being able to run around, of course, one of the most famous locations of, of whatnot, of, oh, sorry, the Street Fighter lore, the final fight, and that is Metro City, for the first time. And that's the reason why this game is kicking all sorts of ass. And it's a shame, because if just NetherRealm even took a fraction of a hint on how to make this game, oh, sorry, Mortal Kombat 1, in the vein of what we're getting with Street Fighter 6 or Tekken 8, it'd be a dominating product. Absolutely dominating. I have a thousand ideas that could make a great Mortal Kombat game. And sure, it's just my opinion, but it's also the opinion of other people that have stuck with me. And so it's not just me, it's what I see and what I hear and what makes a Mortal Kombat fan a fan of Mortal Kombat. Not gimmicks, not mobile game tactics, not premium shops, not outfits look like they got from Ronald McDonald. And it's disappointing. Truly, it's it's disappointing when you see what our, uh, our brethren across the pond are making for their fan bases. And we get scraps. Absolute scraps. Anyway guys, Catch you next time.